All right, rant mode activated. So we're enjoying our Sunday. And Mike is out on the tractor, having fun in the yard. Um, we're getting it all nice and pretty. Oh my gosh, I will be doing a follow-up video on that yard because it is awesome. That's why my glasses are all dark. It's just outside. They'll change in a bit. But anyways, this guy comes by from the bank. <laughs> so the house is in forbearance. It, it, the brain surgery, haven't been able to work. They're working with me. It's been great. Like, my mortgage company is awesome. They kind of understand the whole brain surgery, can't work, waiting on the VA thing. They're wonderful. But when your house is in forbearance, I guess they send somebody by to make sure you hadn't abandoned your property. Okay, so people who go into forbearance, I guess, tend to abandon their property. He explained this a lot. So all these little Lego homes that are going up in the area, you know, these little housing developments, I guess there's a lot of abandoned ones. Because this guy, he's been busy. He's been busy going around to a lot of abandoned homes that have gone into forbearance. America, why are we going into recession? Let's see here. The land that people have been working, running their small little farms, trying to take care of their little goats and digging up their little plants and trying to sell it to the community or working their land that has been there for generations upon generations upon generations, but they can't afford it anymore because the taxes are so high that they just can't afford the taxes on the land that they were given by their parents. So they had to sell it over and then it became Lego homes. And I call them Lego homes because that's what they look like. They look like a bunch of little Legos with do, 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 a little Monopoly homes. <laughs> Maybe you should call them Monopoly homes. Because this is what it looks like. It looks like you're playing a game of Monopoly, right? All the money going to somebody else, lining some pockets, the developers <laughs> and the guys in office. It's all a political move, right? I saw this in California. Last recession, I don't know, about 15 years ago. Does everybody remember that? Nobody remembers that. 15 years ago, when we had another big recession, when everybody was buying homes that they couldn't afford, and then... Yeah, yeah. Hello, Florida. Everybody's buying these houses and then walking away. These developments out in places where people had family land that they just couldn't afford anymore because of the taxes and things. All right. I see it coming. Does anybody else see this coming? Is, is this everywhere again? This is kind of scary. It's like all around me, all these development homes going up and then this guy coming in and saying, oh, well, people are buying them and then abandoning them because they can't afford them. Say what? This is what happened before. So, yeah. Maybe we should let people, you know, keep their land and does not let the developers take it over. Maybe we should encourage people to work their land. Maybe we shouldn't um, have these shady deals going on. I, I, I don't know what's going on, but it reminds me of that situation 15 years ago, that whole housing bubble. Remember that? Does anybody remember that? Okay, it's happening again. All right. Uh, yeah, everybody seems kind of oblivious. Um, but anyways, it, it was nice to let the bank know that we are still trying to improve our property, even though I am working very, very hard on trying to be able to afford it. I'm, I'm still trying to get back to work, even though I hurt and I'm tired and... I just, I do what I can, you know? I just do what I can. I, I, I think that's what everybody should do, right? Just do what you can. Not just drop it and run away. 
But it sounds like that's what a lot of people are doing, just dropping it and running away. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, housing bubble, recession, big issue. Here we go again. Yeah, scary. Oh, and there's a hurricane coming on top of it. <laughs> yeah, wonder what kind of interesting shady deals are gonna happen with that. Just saying, hopefully, hopefully the hurricane does not come this way. Okay, rant over, but that was interesting. An interesting revelation from the guy that gets sent out by the banks to make sure that people don't just walk away. <laughs>